Hi, how are you? I hope you and family are keeping safe and healthy. Thank you for visiting Amazing Animals. May I request you to subscribe? Swans are birds of the family Anatidae. The swans' closest relatives include the geese and ducks. Swans are grouped with the closely related geese in the subfamily Anserini. There are six living and many extinct species of swan. In addition, there is a species known as the Coscaroba swan, which is no longer considered one of the true swans. Swans usually mate for life, although divorce sometimes occurs, particularly following nesting failure, and if a mate dies, the remaining swan will take up with another. The number of eggs in each clutch ranges from three to eight. Swans are the largest extant members of the waterfowl family and are among the largest flying birds. The largest living species, including the mute swan, trumpeter swan, and whooper swan, can reach a length of over 1.5 meters. Their wingspans can be over 3.1 meters. Compared to the closely related geese, they are much larger and have proportionally larger feet and necks. Adults also have a patch of unfeathered skin between the eyes and bill. The sexes are alike in plumage, but males are generally bigger and heavier than females. The northern hemisphere species of swan have pure white plumage, but the southern hemisphere species are mixed black and white. The Australian black swan is completely black except for the white flight feathers on its wings. The chicks of black swans are light gray. The South American black-necked swan has a white body with a black neck. Swan's legs are normally a dark blackish gray color, except for the South American black-necked swan, which has pink legs. Bill color varies. The four subarctic species have black bills with varying amounts of yellow, and all the others are patterned red and black. Although birds do not have teeth, swans, like other anatidae, have beaks with serrated edges that look like small jagged teeth as part of their beaks used for catching and eating aquatic plants and algae, but also mollusks, small fish, frogs, and worms. In the mute swan and black neck swan, both sexes have a fleshy lump at the base of their bills on the upper mandible, known as knob, which is larger in males and is condition dependent, changing seasonally. Swans feed in water and on land. They are almost entirely herbivorous, although they may eat small amounts of aquatic animals. In the water, Food is obtained by upending or dabbling, and their diet is composed of the roots, tubers, stems, and leaves of aquatic and submerged plants. Swans famously mate for life and typically bond even before they reach sexual maturity. Trumpeter swans, for example, who can live as long as 24 years and only start breeding at the age of four to seven, form monogamous pair bonds as early as 20 months. Divorce though rare, does occur, one study of mute swans showing a 3% rate for pairs that breed successfully and 9% for pairs that do not. The pair bonds are maintained year-round, even in gregarious and migratory species like the tundra swan, which congregate in large flocks in the wintering grounds. Swans nests are on the ground near water and about a meter across. Unlike many other ducks and geese, the male helps with the nest construction and will also take turns incubating the eggs. Alongside the whistling ducks, swans are the only anatids that will do this. Swans are highly protective of their nests. They will viciously attack anything that they perceive as a threat to their chicks, including humans. Swans' intraspecific aggressive behavior is shown more frequent than interspecific behavior for food and shelter. The aggression with other species is shown more in bewick swans. Wow, that was cool. I just hope you liked this video, and I will look forward to see you pretty soon. Till then, take care and keep smiling.